Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank one of my subscribers, Nano John, for sending this particular article, and I will leave it in the description box. Mark Dean designed the first IBM PC while breaking racial barriers. And we already know how long the list of Black inventors are. You know, this is why we have to make an effort not to allow others that clearly hate us define who and what we are. We define what we are to them, not the other way around. They got the game backwards and it's time that we straighten it out. So we have Dr. Mark Dean, an African-American computer scientist and engineer, spent over 30 years at IBM pursuing the next big thing. He was chief engineer of a 12-person team that designed the original IBM PC in the early 80s, earning him three of the nine original patents for that device. Dean was also instrumental in designing the industry standard architecture bus, okay, um, which made it easy to plug external devices into IBM's PC. Now, see, came from a black man. Mm -mm -mm. Laid the groundwork for color PC monitors and led the team that created the first gigahertz microprocessor. And despite his many accomplishments shaping our modern computing landscape, Dean isn't afraid to admit that the PC may now be going the way of the dodo. <laughs> it's impressive enough that he was instrumental in so many significant projects, but it's even more remarkable in an industry where African-American representation is still an issue today because they don't want us involved in things that we clearly can do, you know? So I'm not surprised this man's name, since he built the first IBM PC, his name should be a household name. We should all know who he is, but we don't. When younger tech companies like Google are reporting the only 2% of its workforce is black. That's pathetic, Google. That's pathetic. Only 2% of your workforce is black. And only 3% is Hispanic in 2014. It's tough to imagine what the landscape was like for minorities decades ago. IBM, for its part, claims a long history of diversity initiatives. When we asked if he noticed much of a change in the tech industry diversity over the years, Dean said in an email, I personally believe most of the industry doesn't understand the benefits of a diverse workforce awareness. And he's right, they don't want it. They don't want it because they're afraid you are going to do something that's going to just leave them in the dust. Most industry leaders, including corporate boards, aren't willing to do what it takes to make a difference and create a diverse workforce. They don't want it because they can't compete. They can't compete. They don't want it. You know, all they can do is keep you down any kind of low way they can come up with and then try to act like you can't do these things. We can do any damn thing they can do and a thousand times better, okay? Damn near everything these people that hate us touch on a regular basis came from the inventions of black men and women. Damn near everything they touch in their household. But see, because of slavery, they stake claims to something they absolutely did not do. It does not justify 
taking credit for stuff you didn't do because you had a slave. It's a lame excuse and it doesn't fly. Either you physically did the work or you didn't. And the bottom line is it don't make sense that they would be the biggest inventors because it is documented that white people did not work during chattel slavery. It wouldn't make sense for the inventions to come from them. It would make more sense that the inventions came from the people that were doing the actual work. Plain and simple. They weren't concerned about making life easier for no slave. And so if they had to come up with something, it came from the people that were doing the work, not them. Okay, so let me get back into this article. Dean was right on target in the late 90s when he was dreaming up a magazine-sized tablet that would accept voice commands, play media, and replace your PC. He predicted that we see that within 10 years, which was pretty much in line with the iPad debut in 2010. You might recall Dean's surprising comments on the IBM PC's 30th anniversary, which is the birthday, um, which he said the PC was going the way of the typewriter, revealed that his main computer was a tablet. He called IBM a vanguard of the post-PC era for selling its PC division to Lenovo in 20, uh, 2005, perhaps a wise move given the slowdown in the PC market over the past few years. And he argued the push away from commodity markets like PCs, printers, and disk drives allowed IBM to focus on next level projects like the Watson supercomputer. Okay, so as you can see, another pioneer that many of us don't even know about. I'm going to leave the link because, you know, there's more to read. But Dr. Mark Dean did something groundbreaking that we all should know about. And we simply don't. His invention revolutionized the way we send and receive information to this day. And he deserves a lot of credit for that. So, so much for all we invented was peanut butter, huh? <laughs> See, it's because of the Dr. Mark Deans is why they want to limit our presence in many of these major corporations around this globe, because they know what you can do, you know, but their egos and all of the racism is still trying to stop us from achieving what we know we can do. It's been a long, great history of ours that has been suppressed for years. It's up, it's up to us to make sure our children know the achievements for many of the Dr. Mark Deans that are around us. You know, I even learned a black man was the one that created the voice prompts that you hear on the phone. You know how they tell you to hit one for English and uh, press two for Spanish? It was a black man that did that. OK, there are so many things we just don't know because of the environment that we're in. A lot of this stuff has been suppressed for years, but it's up to us to bring it out. Please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell twice and join me over on Black Junction TV and Blackspot.com and also Please support my channel by becoming a patron or making a donation to PayPal or GoFundMe. Peace, family.